Currently, there are two outstanding features of Dwarf Fortress that could serve as clever exploits if you know how to use them. These are the Quantum Stockpile and the Atom Smasher. The Quantum Stockpile is actually a single square of a dump zone that dwarves can infinitely stack dumped items into. I currently have a Quantum Stockpile serving my masons and furnaces a huge supply of stone and raw ore. To create a quantum stockpile, first hit I to create a single square zone. Once you've placed the zone, hit D to toggle this zone into a dump. Note that so long as there is only one zone designated as a dump, the dwarves will always bring dumped items here. Now, let's dump some items. The benefit of using this in the stone industry is that the masons no longer have to travel very far to get heavy stone and you can utilize your entire fortress for hauling vast numbers of stone very quickly. It also makes your fortress look really clean. Hit D and then B and D one more time within this menu to start designating dumping. Using a rectangle box or the mouse, you can select items you wish to store in your quantum stockpile. Once the items are stored slash dumped in your quantum stockpile, Periodically go to the zone you've designated as a dump and reclaim these items dumped there. Dwarves won't use dumped items in tasks, so you have to hit D and then B and enter over top of the items. Reclaiming dumped items is the default for this menu and you'll see that dumped items are highlighted in green. Simply click on the square of the quantum stockpile to mass reclaim all the goodies there. The Atomic Smasher, on the other hand, is a way to permanently delete items from existence. This works for everything in the game, including creatures other than exceptionally large creatures such as the Bronze Colossi, so be wary that no one is standing in the way of your Atom Smasher when it's working. The Atom Smasher is actually a bridge set to raise and lower over flat land. Anything left underneath the bridge when it lowers is vaporized or deleted. Because of this, we can rid ourselves of anything we don't want by stacking things underneath the bridge and pulling the lever. First, let's start by building the Atom Smasher by building a bridge by using B and then G. Using the WASD keys, we can set the bridge to raise or even retract. I'm going to set mine to raise up to the right by pressing A. I can change the size of the bridge by using the U, K, H, and M keys. Now that the bridge is being built, I'll connect the bridge to a lever using mechanisms. Hit B and then capital T to find the trap's mechanics and hit L for lever. I'll place that lever safely away from the blast zone so I don't lose any dwarves in the process. To connect the lever to the bridge, we'll wait until the lever is built and then hit Q over top of it to queue up a new task for our mechanic. Let's choose B to link the lever to a bridge. Once that's done, our Atom Smasher is finally ready to use. Simply place your unwanted items underneath the bridge while it's raised, and then hit the lever. One way to get items you don't want under the bridge is to place a stockpile underneath that accepts the goods you want to get rid of, like corpses or refuse. Just be careful. This will destroy dwarves, and even if they're standing on top of the bridge as it raises, it'll toss them into the air, which is actually a great idea for a good trap. Good luck, Overseer.